everything is play and everything is work. When you have a business model or um, you're doing something, I kind of have this um, little saying, always working, always playing, or being a walking tax deduction. But when you can tie in the things that you love with the things that you do for work or you know for a living or what have you, it just, that is so much fun. So, you know, like me going out hiking, for example, and um, so a lot of times, you know, I'm, I'm selling hiking boots and hiking shoes on a food blog and I actually have a food blog. And by the way, I don't cook. <laughs> so just to say, let me just inspire you a little bit here. Anything is possible. Yeah, I was, I was just saying that that's awesome to be able to just be yourself and, and share your life and enjoy what you do and share it with others and just build a huge following from it. I mean, if you look at these reality shows that are out there, that's what they're really doing, right? Like you watch, I don't know, I might flip the channel and watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians or something. And all I ever see is them just living their life. They go to the, to the mall or they go to the store or they have people over and, you know, and they're just sharing what they, they're into. But they're following you because they're into a certain thing that you're doing and you're just kind of being yourself. And it's entertaining on that reality show type of level. And that's what people keep tuning into. They want, they want people want to be entertained. And for some reason, they find following people their life, they kind of live vicariously through you, I suppose. Yeah. And, you know, there's several different reasons that people will um, decide to read certain blogs or follow certain people. So it's, ed you know, education, it's um, entertainment, it's just likability, or maybe kind of like infotainment, you know, so it's educational entertainment, which is kind of me, like I threw some humor in there. And I just want to say, you know, a lot of people I've talked to about, you know, building up their audience, they're like, I cannot live out loud like you do. Um, so there's two things I want to say about that. Number one, I haven't always been this connected with my audience or this uh, public about my lifestyle. So my low car blog turned more into you know, a lifestyle blog as it went. But that was something I grew into and got comfortable with and it took a few years finding my voice and really connecting with my audience there. So you're not gonna necessarily get that right off the bat, number one. And number two, my life's not that public. There's a lot of things I don't share publicly. 